Hey girls, um, I want to read to you another book that I checked out from the library called Let's Go Outside. What I'm hoping is we'll get some really good ideas for how we can enjoy the great outdoors. Let's Go Outside by Ben Lerwell and Marina Ruiz. Oh my goodness, I love the colors already. Such pretty pictures. Okay. Let's go outside. Let's see what we notice on here. We notice an adult who's outside uh, opening the door, a kid uh, with a dog, and a fox, and some beautiful watercolor illustrations. Let's see what else. Let's climb really big hills. Oh, yeah, that's... That's a fun thing to do, and it's a fun thing to do with friends and family, people you like to spend time with. Let's be very brave explorers. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Look at all those things that there are to see. Lots of deer and birds and pine cones and trees. Oh, even a few little mice. That's so cute. I think you can see that. Oh, and there's a little river some mushrooms and leaves on the ground oh my goodness there's so many oh, I wish we could read this together in person because there's so many great little details that I don't think we'll get on the video but still it's a lot of fun let's feel the wind in our hair oh they got a nice big seagull and a dog and it looks like they're flying a kite uh, this kid's in a wheelchair uh, for could be for many different reasons, uh, but I'm so excited that these kids can still have fun together, even though one of them uh, might have some mobility difficulties. But uh, if you see someone in a wheelchair, it's okay to go up and say hello and make a new friend. Let's feel the wind in our hair. I guess I already read that. Well, maybe there's what is that? Maybe some people parasailing on the water. Oh my goodness. Let's feel the sun on our faces. Oh, it's such a great treat to be able to feel the sun, isn't it? Mmm, so warm. Bella's getting clean over there. Let's be nature detectives hunting for mini beasts. Yeah, that's something exciting about nature is that there are bugs like this little beetle and worms and birds and even smaller things that you can see with a micro what is this a magnifying glass even smaller things you can see with a microscope but that's a really special tool uh that not everybody has uh, at home but uh, scientists have it in the lab here's a snail uh, something i really like about how they did this is you can actually see the sort of gooey slimy uh, trail that the snail made uh, in its uh, travels. Um, even I think this kid might be looking at a detailed view of the snail. I really appreciate how closely each of these kids are looking. Oh, and this one's having fun hanging upside down with a spider. Oh, wow. How many cool little creatures are there? Oh, goodness. Oh, even fairies. Oh, see, I told you that there will be a lot of really exciting details. Let's do lots and lots of somersaults. Oh my goodness, yes, you can do somersaults inside and outside, but outside somersaults are pretty fun, especially on a grassy hill on a warm day. Mmm. Oh, a lizard. Oh, wow. Also, lots of different biomes, different types of places to explore outside. Not all the same. This one, this place has a family of hedgehogs. Let's make the best den in the whole wide world. Well, I don't know that I'd call this a den. This looks like a camp. But animals make dens where they hide. And, oh my goodness... I'm so glad they brought their dog along. Working together and playing and just enjoying the outdoors. 
Let's find a big splashy puddle to splash in. I love splashing and I know you do too. Oh, because it's a little wet, you can see more frogs. I'm surprised they don't show worms in this because that's another thing. So when it's wet outside, uh, you can see more worms. But uh, I also like how their group of friends is growing on every page. It seems like more and more people are enjoying time together, which oh, so fun. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's snowing. Let's wrap up toasty warm when it's cold. Yeah, that's a good reminder. Yeah, you can get dressed and wear uh, warm clothes and go play in the snow. Look, I'm uh, making a snow angel where you lie down and you uh, swing your arms and legs back and forth. So it makes an imprint in the snow. These guys are making really big snowballs. See if you can see that. And other snow sculptures. Oh my goodness, how beautiful. Let's run as fast as our legs can carry us. Oh, I bet you're a fast runner. I bet you can run fast. Then let's go home and get cozy until it's time for our next adventure. Oh, look, we get little vignettes, little pictures of each of the young people enjoying their life at home. Oh, this one's really sleepy. These sisters are in bunk beds and talking to each other. And this person, this uh, kid's... Um, adult is reading them a story maybe even a story about mushrooms oh my goodness such great pictures oh now this one has a lot of text on it so bear with me now it's time for you to go outside nature is full of different colors grass is green the sky is blue and autumn leaves are red what other colorful things do you see when you play outside well, that's a good question to keep in mind. Keep looking for all those different colors. Playing outside helps us stay strong. Fresh air keeps our bodies healthy. And running, climbing, and exploring keeps us fit and happy. What do you like best about being outside? I like feeling the wind on my skin. Sometimes it stings, but a lot of times it just feels really, really nice. It's like... The universe is blowing me a kiss. Sometimes it's hot and sunny. Sometimes it's cold and snowy. Sometimes it's wet and splashy. It's always important to wear the right clothes for the right weather. What would you wear on a summer's day? Hmm, I would wear shorts and flip-flops. And what would you wear for a windy walk in the woods? Oh, I'd wear closed-toed shoes and long pants for sure. Probably even a coat or a jacket. Something that's a little breathable, though, because I don't want to get sweaty. Being outdoors lets us use all our senses. What can you smell when you're outside? What can you hear? What can you touch? A hard tree trunk? Squelchy mud? Can you think of other things? No matter where we live, there is always somewhere to play outside. It might be a park, a playground, a garden, a beach, or even a forest. Where's your favorite place to play? I like playing in my yard. I'm a big fan of playing in the yard and walking around my block. Outside, birds fly across the sky. Bugs wriggle through the earth and furry animals scurry between trees. In different ways, they're all amazing. What sort of creatures do you like to spot? How can we help our wildlife? Oh, those are some deep questions. Ones to ponder for sure. Think about them for a while. It's fun to plant things outside and watch them grow. Flowers, vegetables, even trees. Have you ever planted anything? think you have. What would you like most to grow? Hmm. Ooh, last year I made, I grew zucchini in my garden and that was really fun because I love how zucchini tastes and it was really exciting to see the flower turn into the fruit. Think of all the different things we can do outside. We can run, dig, build, skip, chase, climb, Ride, swing, play, 
slide. Oh my gosh, this list goes on and on. Throw, catch, splash, shout, sing, share, find, jump, learn, and lots of other things too. What else can you think of? Oh, oh my goodness, I can hardly remember the beginning of the list. Oh my goodness, this is cute. I don't think this would happen in real life. You'd be very fortunate if a bird would land on you and sing to you. But that's a dream. That's a dream we can all dream. I think if you were very, very still, you might actually end up with a little ladybug like this person did. And there's some more pictures in the end. Oh my goodness. Thank you for reading with me. I love you. Go outside if you can. Mwah.